and is charged with reckless homicide in a crash that killed a 16-year-old girl and severely injured two of her family members. WGN's Gaynor Hall is at the scene of Saturday's crash and joins us with more details. Hi, Gaynor. Hi, Joe and Julie. She was just weeks away from starting her junior year of high school. Today, some of her friends met with grief counselors before they went to bond court. It was really sad and hard. Friends of 16 year old Alyssa Landino sat in court today as a judge set bond at $300,000 for Adam Grunin. He's charged with reckless homicide. Dashcam video from a truck captured the deadly crash Saturday afternoon at Milwaukee and Hints in Wheeling. Prosecutors say Grunin was driving a white Hyundai Sonata, fleeing the scene of another accident less than a mile away when he slammed into the Landino family's Chevy Equinox, forcing it into the intersection where it struck a Toyota Tundra. The defendant's car was traveling at a speed of 107 miles at the time of impact with the Landino's car. Analysis further revealed that the defendant did not brake prior to the impact. Prosecutors say Grunin has been diagnosed with epilepsy, but tests indicated that he had not suffered a seizure before the crash. After today's hearing, his attorneys wouldn't say much. You know, it's not something we're comfortable commenting on due to the fact that it's a very serious case, a lot of allegations. We have several people still in the hospital and it's not it's not a time and place for it right now. Alyssa was a three sport athlete at Hersey High School. Her friends say she had a bright future ahead of her. She wanted to be an interior designer. She touched so many people and like anyone that knew her is like so lucky to have known her. We're always going to be there for each other and she's always going to be with us whether she's with us here now or with us like in heaven. Alyssa's mother was treated and released, but her father and her 12 year old sister remain hospitalized tonight. Now, drugs and alcohol not believed to be a factor in this crash, but police say Grunin refused to cooperate with the investigation. His parents plan to post bond, and he's due back in court on August 16th.